I'm going to review Banshee episode 6, yeah? Now, I was told by a few people, wait for episode 6. And they were right. This episode, holy motherfucking moly, it was, it was crazy, yeah? It was crazy, like, wow. That is sick anyway, yeah? Like, it was cool learning about his past, seeing what happened to Lucas Hood, or whatever his real name is, when he was in prison and that. That Albino guy was a fucking vicious maniac, yeah? Like, that was just, he was a wanker, yeah? Total cunt. So, you know, like, then we had the usual quota of sex scenes in there, like he's fucking the Moody Brothers' wife in there, and it was like still, still banging her. Um, she's got up naked and everything. So, you know, there's there's a little bit of that sex sex scene going on there. This new this guy Wicks who's come in there, I felt kind of sorry for him because he did help um, Hood when he was in jail, yeah. But why have you come out and act like such a dick, bro? What, like, you come out and you've basically emotionally blackmailing him, and then you put the blackmail on at the end when you fucked up in the casino like a dickhead, yeah. So really and truly, you got what you deserve, mate. I was I. I kind of, I knew you were going to get killed, but the way they did it still surprised me, yeah? Like, I thought you were going to, they were going to, you just start trying to fight them and then he's going to kill you. But that was deep, man. They just fucking had them talking on the boat at the end. And as and, and Sugar was saying, what's true, is it? This guy's, he's seen these guys in jail with their fucking drag everyone else down. And you've got to deal with it. Fucking hell, they dealt with it. My man is, is at the bottom of a lake with fish eating out of his eyeballs now. Wow, that was vicious. I, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't think that they were gonna be that capable of doing something like that. Yeah, but fucking hell, man, that was great. And they were laughing about it as well. That was that was grimy. That was pretty grimy. Yeah. So that's that showed like a a new element of darkness to the characters there that they're prepared to do some grimy shit like that. Um. But I guess from the first episode, you know, they've seen... You're going to start getting, uh, what's the word? A, t a high tolerance to violence and doing grimy things when you've had to start doing it from the first episode or whatever and previous and back in the day. Like, obviously, shit, man, a fucking fight with the, with the albino. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Like, that was some crazy shit. Uh, and, 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 and you had Rabbit in there saying that he's going to get it every fucking day. And... Obviously, Wix has given him the good advice. Either the infirmary or solitary is the only thing that is going to keep you from getting your batty raped by this fucking albino geezer. So he's going to juke this fucking lover in the face and giving him the fucking slash to the cheek yeah, and cut his old cheek open. So I don't blame him. Like, really and truly, if you're going to get down and dirty in a place like that, you've got to get down and dirty, bruv. That fucking... In, in that environment, you can't blame... Lucas Hood and say, oh, he's doing too much. No way, bro. No way. When you're surrounded by these kind of fucking lunatics, you want to rape you and kill you and fucking do all sorts. You got a fucking. You got no choice, bro. He, he got no choice. I, I perfectly sympathise with him for doing what he did, and and cutting the guy's dick off when he was gonna make him suck his dick, cutting the albino's dick off. Yeah, man. He had to do that. He had to do that. There's no, there's no two ways about it. So I, I, shit, I would try to do that if I was in that situation. So yeah, you know. It was brutal. It was a fucking brutal thing. But the albino, you fucked up, mate. You you fucked up bad with the hubris. Yeah, you thought you were just a, a, a bad man. Like if 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 you were really like about your business and wanted to get your dicks up by a guy who's already stabbed your lover in the face, yeah, you should have got other guys to hold him and make him suck your dick. Yeah, not fucking let him just stand, just just be in front of you with no one holding his arms and you're holding the fucking razor blade right next to. Him. Well, you got what you deserved anyway, mate. You're a fucking cunt. You're an evil bastard, yeah? Like, what the fuck? And then he's going to gouge your eyes out. Wow, man. Wow. That was brutal, bro. That was fucking grimy. These dicks bleeding all over the place. It's just, fuck me, man. And he even saw his dick fall on the floor. Blood all that. I was like, oh, my days. What the fuck? I didn't think it was going to be like this on TV. Shit. It's taking it to new levels. This program is... Like, I remember watching Robocop when I was a little kid, and that was fucking violent. I was like, wow, this is fucking serious. Like, when Ed 2 and I blast that guy up with all blood everywhere, the amount of fucking crazy gore. This, this is on TV, and this is fucking violent as fuck, bro. The guy cut off a guy's 
stick, fam, and you see it all on the floor, blood pouring out. Wow. Wow. You writers, man, you people writing nowadays, you're taking this school shit to the next level. Yeah? You, you're some sick motherfuckers, I tell you. Anyway, then you got the situation with the lawyer. He's starting to realise his wife and Luke or something's going on, isn't it? So he said to her, boom, 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 what the fuck, babes? What the fuck? What is Guani? What's going on? And she, she styled it out, but I don't think he is fucking convinced, yeah? So she's kind of realised, fuck, get me. I'm in a serious fucking situation. And she's called up her dad and she said, I'm ready to bring him in now, man. I'm ready to bring him in. I'm ready to bring Lucas to you, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that she's still conflicted about this. And I'm not sure that she will do that. But still, it's on the plate. So, you know what I'm saying? It's on the cards. So that's, that's a bit deep. Yeah, if you do that, then that's not very nice. But anyway, um, then what else? The, the son had his little lung, lung, lung attack with the asthma and all that. That was deep. Felt a bit bad for him and everything. Then the fucking, what else happened? What else? Generally, this, this episode was good. I mean, like, the whole emotional blackmail thing with that Wix guy. That Wix guy was a fucking prat. Really and truly, he was a prat. Yeah, a real dickhead, like. The man told you, he, get, he helped you out and he told you don't come back, yeah? You're lucky he helped you out to that fucking level, mate, you know? Fair enough, you, you helped him out in the past, but when a man that serious that you know he cuts Albino's dicks off to try and make him suck their dick, yeah? This guy is not to be messed with, bruv. He's not to be messed with. He already has shown you that in jail. So when he tells you bounce, you fucking bounce, mate. Don't stick around and try and blackmail him. Are you fucking crazy? <sighs> Shit, man, you got what you deserve. Then we saw Kai Proctor, another facet to his evil, yeah, with getting this fucking um, priest out of his yard, innit? By showing him pictures and saying he's got a video of him mashing his wife, yeah? So that was deep, yeah? So he said he's going to give it to all the congregation at the church. That's fucking deep, man. That, that's some, that's some, that's some below-the-belt shit right there. That's some below-the-belt shit. Wow. Anyway, so Kai Proctor, man, you're vicious. You're an evil guy, man. You're an evil guy. Then, like, I felt sorry for that priest. Obviously, like, that, that was deep. That was deep. That was fucking deep. That was deep. And what else happened? What else happened? What else happened? I mean, that was about it. But, I mean, most of my brain was taken about with the fucking the prison shit. That was a deep story right there, man. That was fucking deep. I thought that Albino was going to last a bit longer. But at the same time, I didn't really give a fuck that he got killed because he was such a cunt, yeah? So he fucking deserved that shit. And, like, I was thinking maybe the other prisoners are going to rush Lucas Hood, yeah, when he picked up the, the weight and he's about to drop it on my man's head, yeah? But it kind of showed that none of them actually liked this albino dude. They were just, you know, they were just too pussy to take him out, yeah? So they're secretly glad that he's getting fucked up, that he's getting his comeuppance for being such a cunt. Even his, even the guy who, who was his lover, he didn't run in to try to help him because he knew he was his bitch, didn't he? So he didn't, he, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. He did not give a fuck, man. He didn't give a fuck at the end of the day. I don't blame him. So, you know what I'm saying? Let that be a lesson to bullies. If you're going to be a bully and someone's going to take you down, don't expect your gang to back you if you've been bullying them too. Because they're going to be like, fucking hell, I'm glad I got rid of this cunt. Do you know what I mean? What a fucking wanker. We've been waiting for this guy, someone strong enough to take this dude out. And now it's happened. Thank God. Praise Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's what, uh, you know, that's what happened there. So, Albino, mate, you know, you fucked up. I've seen you got a role in Star Trek, though, so you, you're doing all right. Then, um... Yeah, that's about it. So I'm just waiting for the next episode to see if Anna, I can't remember what her fake name is, Kerry or something, I don't know. Anna or whatever is going to grass him up to rabbit or is going to, you know, deliver him. So hopefully she won't. But this shit is getting fucking deep. Yeah, I'm liking this program. This one and Game of Thrones, my two favourite programs right now. That's all I'm watching I'm not really bothering watching nothing else. 
You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I do raves and do shows and all that shit. So pretty much every night I'm busy anyway. But these ones I put, I record a minute. And they're, they're fucking worth it, mate. I'll tell you that. So thank you very much for making this program, people. You're all doing very well. And keep it up, baby. Keep it up. Keep it up. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.